Good morning. I'm an academic researcher uh, from uh, the University of East Anglia in the UK, and my expertise is in solving problems. In particular, I'm applying uh, applied and computational mathematics methods along with financial theory to face uh, and deal with uh, problems that uh, investment practitioners uh, face in practice. And this is what I'm going to present to you today. So it might sound like, like a, a challenging presentation given uh, the fall yesterday in all cryptocurrencies. But what I will really uh, show you is how to be protected from such market movements and how even to take them uh, to your advantage. And actually, what we're trying to do uh, with this research that we have undertake, uh, undertaken with uh, my colleague, uh, Rafael Marqueros, who is also presenting in the next session, is to help establish cryptocurrencies as an alternative investment. So, uh, while cryptocurrencies were not invented for this purpose, uh, if you followed various uh, fora or blogs over the past two years, you will be able to see uh, that much of the discussion was about speculation, uh, trading rather than practical use. And, my, and even though this might not be an ideal outcome, uh, we cannot uh, actually reject the idea of cryptocurrencies as a new investment class. And actually, two weeks ago, Morgan Stanley uh, produced a report that uh, defined cryptocurrencies as a new institutional investment class. And we are seeing, day by day, large institutions, large investors investing uh, in uh, cryptocurrency funds, with a prominent example uh, being Yale uh, a few uh, weeks again ago investing in uh, a crypto fund. So what makes crypto uh, such a popular uh, choice uh, nowadays as an alternative investment? The first, of course, is the outstanding performance that crypto has produced over uh, the past uh, three years or so with a return more than 250%. You would not be able to see that with any of the conventional investment classes, right? At the same time, this came with a lot of risk, with a very high volatility. And we are still seeing uh, this high volatility uh, day by day. Uh, however, even if you take into account this volatility, the risk adjusted return of crypto compared uh, to other traditional uh, investment uh, vehicles such as uh, the stock market, uh, bonds, or emerging, market, uh, emerging uh, markets and gold is really uh, outstanding. The main benefit that we see and we have seen with crypto is this practically zero correlation with any of the traditional investments. And this is very, very rare in finance. Because if you manage to find unrelated investments, this immediately offer you uh, tremendous diversification benefits, tremendous risk reduction benefits. So uh, the research questions that we tried uh, to address, uh, first one, is the equivalent of the security selection uh, idea that we know uh, from investment management, so which digital assets should be included in an investor's portfolio. The second, so once we have chosen the assets, how we can allocate our resources between these crypto assets or between cryptocurrencies and other types of investments. And finally, how can we really not only manage this large risk that we see in uh, the cryptocurrency market, but also to take it to our advantage uh, and uh, tr actually trade it, trade this uh, volatility. So starting with the first question, 
we had this idea of optimal crypto selection. So how can we really choose which cryptos to invest in, especially since nowadays we have more than 2,000 different cryptos trading in the markets? So we have two approaches. The first is equivalent to the idea of fundamental analysis, which is very popular in investment practice. And what we actually try to do is to value crypto as we value traditional stock and shares, but since we don't have uh, the same kind of behavior, we need to consider other things. So what we did with colleagues is uh, to quantify the characteristics that we believe and people believe uh, add value to a particular crypto project. And this can be the advantages and disadvantages that this offers compared to other products and services, the security, the speed, uh, and even things such as the credentials of the developers and uh, the support of the community. All this can be quantified really and be put into equation and yield a value for the particular crypto. And a very interesting application, which uh, also is related to our consulting experience in the field, is ICO pricing. The second method is, let's say, the equivalent of technical analysis. So how can we forecast the future performance using the past? So we have the tools, and we have the tools through our previous research. The thing is how you can customize them uh, so that they match the particular uh, needs of the crypto investor. The second uh, approach, so once you have really selected the cryptocurrency that you want to invest, the second question is how you allocate uh, your resources between cryptocurrencies. And we again are able uh, through a novel portfolio optimization technique that actually takes into account the specific features of uh, crypto markets uh, to reduce the uncertainty about the risk return profile of cryptocurrencies. This is uh, the first step and then to promote diversification between different classes of cryptocurrencies. And even nowadays everything is heavily correlated to Bitcoin, we don't expect this to be the case in the next five to ten years. Or of course, we should be able to produce low transaction costs, and this is another advantage of our approach. And finally, and most importantly, we are able to yield superior risk-adjusted uh, returns. Finally, uh, we advocate uh, the development of an options market for cryptocurrencies. So currently, there are a few exchanges that uh, actually allow you to invest in cryptocurrencies, but there is no trading volume, there's really no interest for the investors. And we believe that this can change, and we have actually contributed to change that with alternative uh, asset classes in the past, and we think that the same can happen with crypto. But the first step is to price this uh, innovative, complex uh, instruments in the right way. So we have uh, expertise in that, in, in uh, pricing uh, derivatives for uh, a variety of assets, and we do the same for cryptocurrencies. And in that way, we improve risk management. And we think that this also helps, is helpful to merchants that and consumers that want to use uh, crypto to interact with each other. Uh, price discovery, so we have additional information through the option markets, and he, this makes uh, the, uh, the market more efficient. We are able to promote leverage trading, and uh, the next step is uh, to develop volatility indexes in a similar way that we have uh, for the stock market. Finally, and this is uh, something that we completed recently, uh, we developed uh, cryptocurrency volatility derivatives so that can, people can not only manage risk in crypto, but also take advantage of this large volatility and trade it. So these are the steps uh, that we followed in um, our effort to try and make 
uh, cryptocurrencies an established investment class uh, today and help investors uh, build uh, their portfolios so that they take into account the things that make uh, cryptocurrency special. Uh, please uh, feel free to contact us with uh, any ideas that you have and any uh, ways that you can think of collaborating. We're always happy to work uh, with businesses and uh, individuals. And I guess this uh, finishes my presentation. So thank you a lot for your attention.